Welcome to Emma's Top 10 and thanks for watching. In this video, we are excited to take you to the world of African football. Yes, we are bringing to you some lesser known facts about the biggest football tournament in Africa, the African Cup of Nations. The African Cup of Nations, popularly known as the AFCON, takes place every two years and have been a tradition in football world since 1957. Altogether, the tournaments have been played 31 times, excluding this year's edition. Prior to the event, all the countries on the continent of Africa are placed in groups to play qualification matches and only the top two teams in each group qualifies to partake in the event. Every two years, the Confederation of African Football, known as CAF, decides which country will host the next tournament. The AFCON is one of the biggest events that unites the best of African footballers and fans in one country to celebrate African football. At the end of each tournament, an unfixed cash prize is handed to the winners of the tournament. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Having said that, let's take a closer look at this very special football tournament with the 10 things you probably didn't know about the African Cup of Nations. Number 1. Egypt has the most records in the history of the tournament. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear of Egypt? I bet you would say the pyramids. Egypt is not only famous for its pyramids, they are the king of African football. Egypt holds the most records in this prestigious event by all means. Egypt have participated at the AFCON 24 times and have won 7 times making it the country with the most participation and wins at the AFCON. Egypt also holds the record of the only team to have won the tournament 3 times in a row in 2006, 2008 and 2010. Throughout their participation at the competition, Egypt have scored a total of 96 goals taking the title of the highest number of goals scored by a single team in the tournament. Adiba from Egypt is the first player ever to score four goals in a single match which saw Egypt emerge as the very first winner of the competition. Number 2. The current AFCON trophy is the third trophy since the inception of the tournament in 1957. Throughout the history of the African Cup of Nations, three different trophies have been awarded to the winners of the competition. The original trophy, made of silver, was the Abdelaziz Abdallah Salem Trophy, named after the first CAF president, Abdelaziz Abdallah Salem. As the first winner of three African Cup of Nations tournaments, Ghana obtained the right to permanently hold the trophy in 1978. The second trophy was awarded from 1980 to 2000 and was named the Trophy of African Unity or the African Unity Cup. It was given to CAF by the Supreme Council for Sports in Africa prior to the 1980 tournament and it was a cylindrical piece with the Olympic rims over a map of the continent engraved on it. Cameroon won the Unity Cup indefinitely after they became three-time champions in 2000. In 2001, the third trophy was revealed, a gold-plated cup designed and made in Italy. Cameroon, permanent holders of the previous trophy, were the first nation to be awarded the new trophy after they won in 2002. Egypt won the gold-plated trophy indefinitely after they became three-time champions in 2010. Number 3. A total of 1,567 goals have been scored throughout the history of the tournament. The AFCON is now in their 31st edition and a total of 1,567 goals have been scored since the beginning of the tournament, with many of those goals worthy of their own place in the Hall of Fame. The highest goal scorer in the history of the tournament is Cameroon Samuel Eto'o with 18 goals, followed by Laurent Paku from Ivory Coast and Yashidi Yekene from Nigeria with 14 and 13 goals respectively. The 2008 edition of the tournament holds the record of the most goals scored in one tournament at 99 goals. We have a dedicated video on Samuel Ito and we will do well to leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Number 4. The African Cup of Nations was televised for the first time in the 1970 edition in Sudan. Prior to the 1970 AFCON, you had to be in the host country to be able to watch the games since there were no official media houses permitted to broadcast the games. 
1970 African Cup of Nations, which was the seventh edition of the tournament, was the very first edition to be televised. It was hosted by Sudan. Just like in 1978, the field of eight teams was split into two groups of four. Sudan won its first championship, beating Ghana in the finals, one goal to zero. Number five. The finals of the 1974 edition of the AFCON was played twice. On March 12, 1974, Zai, the present-day Congo, had a stiff encounter with Zambia at the finals with the match ending at a draw. Two days later, the finals was replayed where Zai defeated Zambia two goals to zero at the Cairo Stadium to claim the title. Number 6. The longest serving CAF president was in office for 29 years. The African Cup of Nations is organized by the Confederation of African Football, known as CAF, and since the beginning of the AFCON in 1957, there have been a total of seven CAF presidents, with Cameroonian born Hisa Hayatu holding the record of the longest serving CAF president. He was voted into office on March 10, 1988 and left office on the 16th of March 2017, making him 29 years and 6 days in office. He is followed by Ethiopia-born Yidnikachu Tesema with 15 years in office. The current incumbent president is Madagascar-born Ahmad Ahmad, who took over from Hisa Ayato in 2017. Number 7. There were two instances where a coin was tossed to select a winner. During the 1965 edition of the African Cup of Nations in Tunisia, the host country, Tunisia, reached the final game via a coin tossing as they were level with Senegal on the number of points and goal difference. The Tunisian lost the final two goals to three against Ghana. Similar incident was also used in 1988. Here, a coin was tossed, helping Algeria reach the semi-finals at the expense of Ivory Coast. Just like Tunisia, Algeria were unfortunate in the semi-finals as they lost to Nigeria 9 goals to 8 on penalty shootout following a 1-1 draw. Number 8. The number of teams eligible to partake in the AFCON have been extended from 16 to 24. In 1957, there were only three participating nations. Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia. South Africa was originally scheduled to compete but were disqualified due to the apartheid policies of the government then in power. Since then, the tournament has grown greatly, making it necessary to hold a qualification tournament. The number of participants in the final tournament reached 16 in 1998. In 2017, it was decided that the number of participating countries in Africa's biggest soccer events, the African Cup of Nations, will increase to 24 national teams as of 2019. Also significant, the competition, usually hosted in January and February, will be moved to June and July as of 2019. Number 9. 12 African countries have never participated at the AFCON. Of the 56 members of CAF, 44 have lived the patriotic moment of listening to their national anthem played at the AFCON, while 12 have never known the joy and pride that tags such occasion. Top on the list of non-qualifiers is the youngest member of CAF, South Sudan, who have only participated in two qualifying campaigns since their admission to the continental body in 2012. Also in the role as Somalia, Chad, Eritrea, Burundi, and Central African Republic. These are countries that have long suffered political instability and civil wars affecting the general growth of the game. Central African Republic came close in the Gabon campaign, finishing second behind the Democratic Republic of Congo, whom they needed to beat in the ultimate Group B fixture to secure the dream in September 2016. The full list of non-qualifiers include Burundi, Central African Republic, Chad, Comoros, Djibouti, Eritrea, Gambia, Lesotho, Sao Tome and Principe, Seychelles, Somalia, South Sudan, and Swaziland. Number 10. Interesting records set throughout the history of the event. Most goals scored by an individual in the history of the AFCON, Samuel Ito from Cameroon, with 18 goals. Most goals scored in a final game, 4, by Muhammad Atta from Egypt in 1957. 
most goals scored in a single tournament, 9, by Mulumba Ndanye in 1974. Most goals scored in one match, 5, by Laurent Pocou in 1970. Fastest goal, 23 seconds, by Aman Mansour in 1994. Most tournament appearances, 8, by Ahmed Hassan from Egypt and Rigobert Song from Cameroon. Most matches played, 33, by Rigobert Song from Cameroon. Youngest player ever in the history of the AFCON, Shiva Star from Gabon, 16 years old in 2000. Oldest player in the history of the AFCON, Esam El Hadari from Egypt, 44 years old in 2017. Clean sheet. Cote d'Ivoire's Alain Nguamene and Cameroon's Alain Buka are the only two goalkeepers who won the titles in 1992 and 2002 without conceding a goal. Title winner as a player and as a coach, Mahmoud El Gohari of Egypt in 1959 as a player and 1998 as coach, and Stephen Keshi of Nigeria in 1994 as a player and in 2013 as a coach. The African Cup of Nations is a sporting event watched by millions of people around the world. And in this year's edition, we are curious to know, which team do you think will win this year's edition of the tournament? Leave a comment below and the winner will be rewarded. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned a thing or two about the biggest sporting event in Africa. And if you did enjoy this video, do well to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends.